So this video will teach you how to connect with the laptop and the Z18W. As you can see, it is a dual up and side monitor. So let's check on the ports. The first one is for the power bind, the monitor. The second one is for Tab C, the Tab C connection with the laptop Tab C. So the bottom one is the mini HDMI port. It is for the uh it is for the bottom screen like up mini HDMI and and that one is tab C HDMI is for the upper screen okay so first of all we need to power bind the monitor at the first tab C part of the monitor with our charger because our charger is 65 watt so it's a part to power bind the monitor in reverse so first of all power bind the monitor first this is the very important part of the monitor. Once you power bind it, you can see both logo comes out. And secondly, we will use the Tab C to Tab C cable to connect the laptop and the monitor. Okay, so Tab C. Remember that it is also in the the second Tab C part of the monitor. Okay, and. We'll connect it with the laptop. Tap C. Okay. Okay. And let's put down on the side of the. You can see light up both look both screen. Okay. So in this way, I will introduce you how to, to use the uh, setting the monitor at the. A, B, C, okay? So, goes the laptop setting to the display setting. Okay, you can check on the display setting. Money more clearly, display setting. And then check with the laptop, it is one, two, okay? One, two, one, two, that means, okay, one, two, two. That means these two screens are in duplicate mode, so, you will need to press the bottom button, okay? The bottom button. Okay, let's more check more clearly of the monitor. Okay. So this is the bottom button, okay? Press it and you can see it has the color mode, extension mode, and uh, the big A the squeak and the staying along. So we need to choose the A and B. Okay. Once choose it, use the dial button. Press inside. Okay. Let me handle it again. Okay. Press one time. Come down to choose. Pull down. Pull down. Pull down. Okay. Press inside. Okay. Now you can see the. Second screens, it will react. One, two, okay. Okay, you can see in our laptop setting. Laptop setting has two, one, two, three, okay. One, two, three, okay. One, two, three, okay. One, two, three. That means it has been in the separate display. It has, you have got two, three different, three different display, okay. Okay, so what about if you need the big A, like a sequence the display? So it is in the also the same. Press down the button, and then choose the one two color, not color mode. Okay, it is the sequence mode. Press inside. Look at my finger. Okay. One, two, three, inside, okay. Inside. So it will react into one screen. And what about one screen will displace in the laptop setting? So if it shows you one, two, a big two. So this is the big two. You can move the apply. And then you can check the second mode, the uh, re refresh rate, okay. It is okay. Check more clearly. 
Okay, it is 1920 by 2160 the resolution because it, ha it has been This part has been in the full screen. Okay, a full screen. Okay, so now we choose to Stay the staying along. Okay, if you only press it staying along if only light covers the One screen that is the bottom screen the second one the upper screen will not have any signal, okay? And you can see this can use as a separate the screen, okay? Separate screen, okay? So the most important part is you need to remember that is to press the bottom screen, the bottom button to choose the expansion. Expansion, okay? Once you choose the expansion, it will show you the different uh screens into one two three okay so you can check it one two three and the reason i say that you need to power by the monitor and if you automatically power by recharge the mobile the laptop as you can see the laptop the charger the battery stator as you can see has been recharged the laptop battery Okay, okay, and this is the usage of the zero up screens and to show you the color mode, expansion mode, sequencing mode, and staying along mode. Yeah, so now I'm going to introduce you again of the monitor buttons, and you can see the monitor pause. Okay. As I introduced you before, the first tab C is for the power by. The second tab C is for both screens light up. The mini HDMI is for the bottom screen. That means the mini HDMI is the bottom screen. Okay, and the, the, this tab C is upper screen. HDMI upper screen. So the most important part is to make sure. Your laptop has the Thunderbolt Tab C. It can mirroring your laptop as then. That's the key point. Okay. Okay. Let's make a finish. Okay. Cool.